Did dispensing drinks just get super easy with this? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I hold in my hand here a two liter of Coke Zero, and I still hold this contraption here that I found on Amazon, and I was wondering, does this thing work? Because it could make dispensing drinks a lot easier, save you some room in your fridge, save you some frustration. But for, I don't know, seven, eight bucks or something, I guess I'm not expecting a lot from it. In fact, what I've noticed here is we have little foam, not rubberized, but foam feet, but one is already missing. I just opened this thing up. It just came in a plastic bag, basically. So they're definitely not sparing no expense to produce these guys. So what this is, is it's like a platform and you can see we have a little threaded receiver down there and and I was like, the bottle has to screw in here and I think we'll stand inverted and then basically dispense under gravity the fluid through here and then you will have this little spigot here. There are some things that concern me about this though. One, I was like, well, you need some sort of gasket in there so that the pop and the juice doesn't spill everywhere. And I found in the plastic bag, we get this. It's soft, but it's not super soft. It's not like rubber and I feel like it's more plastic than silicone, but I'm just gonna put it in there. That's where that thing is gonna have to live, but I think it should work under enough tension. The other thing that worries me a little bit is, you know, is there enough pressure to send the liquid up through here and dispense it? And then right here, what we have is this little nozzle, kind of like, you know, drink dispensers, lemonade dispensers, those types of things. Will this work? You can see we have another gasket right there. And then we have this, and I feel a little bit like, I don't know, which way this goes to work. So by blowing on this, I can see that it's closed, but if I pull it up like this, it's open. So it's open like that. If I do that, it's kind of open there too, but that's closed. All right, so you'd have to put it down there, which I guess that makes sense, but I feel like it's gonna interfere a little bit with the glass or the cup that you put underneath it. The other problem with this is the way this clocks. So even though I can put this on here, and tighten it down. What I want to show you is that, first of all, it's all plastic, so it's not super robust. It's not like aluminum. But the way this goes on here, it's kind of tight like that. And that is not standing up. So to get it facing down, I'm gonna to have to over tighten it. Now, hopefully this plastic will survive the compression of this little gasket. But I'm telling you that the problem is you can't back it off the other way. You can't make it loose. All right, so there I've got this on. And now what I think I'm gonna do here, and I have a glass here so that we can demo this. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the top off this two liter pop bottle under pressure, carbonated, just like me. But when I release gas, you know, when I'm out with friends, people don't seem to find it as charming. And I'm gonna twist it on like this. All right, so I've got this guy on. <laughs> And you can see how it actually is smartly angled so that it doesn't interfere with the bottle. I'm gonna turn, twist this on pretty tight because I don't want anything leaking. All right, so, man, I can keep twisting and twisting. All right, so now I've got it on. Now let's see if it dispenses. All right, so I'm just gonna turn it over. Everything about this kind of makes me a little worried. I'm gonna put it on the edge of my tree stump right here because I need to be able to, well, my cup should fit underneath there. And right now, I don't see any leakage down here or leakage up here. So that's kind of a good sign. I've got my glass here, so we'll see if this really works. I'm put my glass underneath, oh my gosh. Dude, that came out way faster and frothier and under pressure. But, all right, as I'm opening this up, the problem is something I expected. So what I think is that there isn't enough air getting into the bottle. So what's funny about this is that it did come with a thumbtack, you know, just one of those thumbtacks that you would use on a poster board to hang up your favorite artwork. And so I think the problem is that we aren't letting any air into the bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little tiny pinhole in the bottom of the bottle and try it again. Now, my issue with this is, won't that release the carbonation and remove the, effervescent goodness of the bottle over time. You know, if you have this in your refrigerator over two days, maybe the pinhole is so small that it doesn't release a lot of the carbonation, but I feel like just over a day or two, you could just lose all the fizziness, but let's try it. Let's, so let's try the pinhole and see if that helps. All right, so I've got a tiny thumbtack sized pinhole in there. And when I 
popped it in and I actually had to find like a hammer to hammer it in because the plastic is pretty thick. But actually when I popped it, I got a rush of that carbonation, that pressure kind of popping out. So it was like, Psss. so again, it makes me think that it's going to lose that effervescence over time. But let's go ahead and see if now this dispenses better. Oh, that's definitely better. Ooh, look at that. The carbonation is dancing. I'll tell you what, it's not pouring that fast, but because it's carbonated, you probably don't want it to pour super fast. Ooh. Okay, one problem here is because I have it on a tabletop like this, if you were dispensing this out of the front of your refrigerator, then you could drop your cup before you close up the nozzle there. But what I will say is that this thing is working, actually, and you could put this in your refrigerator and be able to dispense yourself a nice cold pop. I know some of you call it soda, but that's wrong. A nice cold beverage at your leisure from a two liter bottle. You could probably use it with like those 20 ounces too. I think the threading on the opening here is the same, but kind of an interesting and novel way to store your drinks and dispense them and people can kind of like it. And in fact, if you're having something like a barbecue and you want to have a bunch of different types of pops out, you could do that too, pick up a bunch of these. So if you want to dispense your two liter bottle of pop uniquely and conveniently, I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out. We can restock more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever. Than